Hi, I'm Tom Milhoff with Helio Power. In the background you see GMR Vineyard's 516 kilowatt single axis ground mount solar facility. Now we like a single axis solution here in the southern central valley because uh, as you can see the solar arrays are tilted and here at 10 a.m. in the morning on June day uh, they're producing over 400 kilowatts of energy which is pretty close to their peak production of about a little over 500 kilowatts. As you can see in the morning when they're at their full tilt the panels are spaced so they don't shade each other and we get full production. Uh, over the course of the day, these panels are going to rotate from east to west uh, so that they get the most uh, kilowatt hour production over per dollar invested in this uh, facility uh, as they can over the course of the day. And that energy comes from this solar facility underground to the electrical uh, interconnect from PG&E and offsets about a million kilowatt hours annually of electrical load from the winery facility. This is a 500 kilowatt SATCON inverter. Uh, you can see we've got diagrammed on the inverter the location and the line runs. Almost all of the data that you'd want to know you can access online uh, on our website, but you can also see it here at the location. We installed a 10-inch I-beams, 8 feet into the ground and 4 feet up. On top of these I-beams we mounted uh, weatherized uh, hinges intended to handle the harsh and windy and sandy conditions here in East Bakersfield. And then we drove through that a 6-inch uh, square beam uh, on top of which we mount the solar facility. So we're very proud of how simple and durable this installation is and it's, it's proven to be very easy for us to operate and maintain. Uh, one of the most important things we do when we install, install a large solar facility is we monitor very carefully. We monitor wind speed, we monitor solar uh, production, direct normal irradiance, we can monitor humidity and we monitor temperature. By measuring these actual uh, weather uh, uh, features we can we can measure solar production against what we expect it should be. And that way we can know if a system is underproducing or overproducing. It has some side benefits to farmers as well who want to know whether it's going to be a uh, peak event day in utility terms, which could mean that they're going to be facing uh, higher utility rates. And it has HR benefits for guys who have uh, labor out in the fields and want to know what the temperature might be at the location where their solar facility is located. So we're careful to monitor production and weather inputs to make sure everything's operating as we expect. Uh, let's talk about the moving parts. Aside from electrons moving through the panels, this, this installation is really elegant in its simplicity. The only thing that really moves, and you just heard it, is this, um, this tracking arm, which is powered by a simple 10 horsepower electric motor, easily maintained, easily replaced. When it receives a signal from that photo line, the electric motor will power this hydraulic ram, which will ever so slightly move this 12-inch beam uh, tracking arm from uh, east to west, actually from west to east, which will pivot the panels from east to west and track the sun over the course of the day. As you can see, it's all galvanized steel, 12-inch construction, a joy to maintain. Blood simple, thanks. Controls how the array tilts and follows the sun. It's actually very simple. There's two chips on either side of this uh, little uh, uh, circuit board right here, and if the sunlight hits the chip on the east side, uh, it sends a signal that tells the arrays to tilt to the west. If the sunlight hits the chip on the west side, it sends a signal that tells the arrays to tilt a little bit to the east. So over the course of the day, as the sun moves from east to west, uh, this little uh, prism will sense where the sunlight is and adjust the arrays uh, to the appropriate uh, perpendicular angle of the sun. Simple, we like simple. Thanks.